Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to animate a, a simple image. Um, this can be one image or it can be a collection of images that you have stacked together. Now personally I think a collection of images that are stacked together give you more control. So that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, but what I've got here is a backdrop, just a sky. I've got some cloud objects here. I've got a, a tree and I've got a little grease pencil object to make it look like a ground plane for my tree to sit on. And, oops, I still have another object in there that I plan to get rid of. Must be I didn't. Let me just clear that in case there's something left over from a previous exercise. Okay, um, if I plan to move the tree, which I do, I'm going to have just like the leaves rustle around a little bit in the wind. And in order to do that, this cannot be just a simple four vertice plane with just a vertex at each corner. Um, if I go into wire mesh mode, you can see I've already subdivided this to give it some additional vertices to work with. Um, so a way to do that, if you jump into edit mode and you select your object, and then you can right click and you can choose subdivide and you can choose how many cuts. Um, I went into this image and I just gave it 50 cuts uh, just to give us what you can see here. And that should be enough for what I'm trying to do. I could probably go less for this image, honestly, but this will work. So let's go back into object mode, go back to a view uh, viewing mode that lets us actually see what we're doing here. Now, how are we gonna animate just the leaves of this um, unless we want to go and actually make individual vertices move, which doesn't sound a whole lot of fun, um, we're going to have to have a control object. And that control object in Blender is an armature. So you can go to Add, and you can go down and find Armature here. And your armature is that thing right there in the background that I went in and erased earlier, because apparently I left one there. Um, so... We're going to use it to control our tree. Now it's a little big compared to our tree, so let's go ahead and scale it down. And uh, it's also behind the tree, which makes it a little bit harder to work with. Now I could move it in 3D space, but here's an even better option. With the armature selected, come over here to this little running man symbol, object data properties for the armature. Open up viewport display if it isn't already. And just check a, a put a check mark here in the box for in front. And now you can see your armature in front of your meshes, no matter where it is in 3D space. Also, I'm not going to go through the trouble of naming each one of the bones that belong to this armature as I'm creating it. So I'm just going to check names as well. So you'll get a little name right beside it. It makes it easy to figure out which bone you have selected as you're working. So now that I've got this, what I would like to do is expand on it. Because I don't want just one bone in my armature controlling the whole top of the tree. So I'm going to go into edit mode. I'm going to select that bone and I'm going to shift D to duplicate it. I'll put one over here and shift D to duplicate it. I'll put one over here. I'll just rotate that one a little bit so it kind of matches that direction. Scale it down a bit. Same over here. Okay, this one's a little large as well. So we'll do that and move it up. That should work. Go back into object mode. Okay, now with armatures, you have a new special mode. You can go up here and choose pose mode. Another way to get there, by the way, control tab, and you're in instantly in pose mode. Now, as you pose the bones in your armature, you can have meshes respond to any changes that you make to these bones. That includes moving, rotating, scaling, all of that. Um, as you saw, I just moved that bone and nothing happened. Well, the way to tie the objects together so that they move when the bones move is through parenting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into object mode. I'm going to select my tree in the background. I'm going to hold shift and click on one of my bones so I have the armature selected. I'm going to right click, go to parent, and armature deform but with envelope weights. And now if I go back and select one of my bones there, I can go into pose mode. And if I move this bone, nothing's going to happen. And that is because I chose envelope weights and it doesn't have 
um, those weights applied yet to the tree mesh in the background so it doesn't know which vertices are supposed to move exactly when I move the bone. So we're going to go into another mode called weight painting to tell it what's supposed to move when I have certain bones selected. So I'm going to be in pose mode, that's important, and I'm going to click the mesh here, whoops, click the, the mesh for the tree, and I'm going to press control tab, and weight painting is an option. It's also, of course, an option over here. And now, with a bone selected, anything that is dark blue like this will not be affected when that bone moves. However, if we set our weight to something other than zero, and we come in and we do a little painting, you can see things are changing colors. And the closer you are towards red, the more affected you're going to be by the movement of that bone. I slide this weight all the way up to one. See that uh, I want that part there to move um, pretty consistently. Let's go that right there. That should move, and the rest of this will move a little bit less. Now this is where the names are very handy. Notice that's bone that's selected. Well, if I go choose bone one, see there's bone one, and I can't physically choose it here, but I can choose it from that list. Now I can paint some weights here. And I'm not a big fan of, of the full red, uh, so I'll just come in and give that something like that. That should work. Now I'm gonna choose bone two. And that should do it right there. Yeah, maybe I'll make the... No, I was going to make the branches move a little bit, but I won't. Um, okay, let's get out of weight painting. I'm just going to control tab and go back to object mode. And then I'm going to select my armature again, control tab to get into pose mode. And now watch what happens when I move the bones. Now parts of this tree are moving. I can rotate and I can scale. Now, you have to be careful when you're doing this on an image because it would be very easy to mess up the image and make it look um, wrong and therefore sort of break the illusion of the simple animation. Uh, but very quickly now, I can go in and just make a few changes here and there and set some keyframes and we can have an animation. So I will go ahead and keyframe that. Oh, let's do location, rotation, scale. Let's set this so I can see it. I'll come in here, let's say 10 frames from now. This is just going to move a little bit in that direction. And I'll set another location, rotation, scale. And apparently not see it. Why not? I don't know. I don't know. All right, well. Let's go ahead and uh, stay on frame 10. Let's move this one a little bit. New keyframe. Let's move this one a little bit. And rotate it too. Why not? New keyframe. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to set original keyframes for these two bones here. Whoops. Put that back kind of where it was. Keyframe that. Let's go ahead and put that back. Keyframe that. Let's go ahead and scrub through. And now you can see our, our tree changing over time. And if you do enough of that wiggling and moving around, uh, you've got an animation in, and at some point you can just repeat it. There's no reason for this to play forever and ever. And you animate every single frame. Keyframe. Let's do another little rotate. Keyframe. And a little rotate. And a keyframe there. And now we have a 20 frame animation. Let me just go ahead and cut my number of frames down in my video. Okay, now ultimately, um, you would want to probably, if you're going to loop this, bring it back to the starting point so that this look like a, a smooth, seamless transition of a tree wiggling in the wind. And of course, then you can add to it. Um, each of my cloud objects 
has, you know, is its own thing. So I can grab that cloud there and set a keyframe on one and then jump to 20 because the clouds aren't going to move a whole lot. In fact, they should probably move together, actually. Let's go back to frame one. Let's grab that cloud. That was not what I wanted. What did I just grab? I grabbed my tree. Tree, tree. Which one was it? Uh-oh. Uh, it's now under the armature. Tree, go away. Okay, let's just work on the clouds. Cloud, cloud, cloud. Okay. Keyframe there, location, rotation, scale, jump out to 20. And I'm just going to move them slowly. Looks like the wind is drifting this way. Set another rotation. Uh, location, rotation, scale, keyframe, and now play it. We've got our, our clouds slowly moving in the background, our tree wiggling. And that's all there is to animating a simple image using armatures in Blender.